You're right, folks. Gary, aka Hopeless, back again. In an effort to get the creative juices going again, I figured now would be a good time for a quick walk around the new hobby area. Now, I did record the audio for this in the garage at the same time, but my neighbour is having some work done and my phone picked up far too much background noise. So, I'm currently doing this uh, a couple of days later in the office. Firstly, this is a garage, so we will ignore the small pile of children's toys by the front. Well, I say toys, it's my daughter's bike and my son's scooter and trike. These will be in here for a little bit. The left side of the room is mainly for display. This is mostly, well, no, it's entirely furnished by IKEA. The first Calyx has my comics, rule books, codexes, and non-essential paperwork, and various bits that I've not found home for yet. You'll notice this is going to be a running theme for most of the storage here. Wish me luck. There's also a tub of my kids' crafting supplies that may or may not be used in some upcoming ideas on the top. There's also this small pile of unused black boxes from Ikea. They are called Upsnuff Sad, which is uh, quite handy. Moving on to the first display shelf, uh, various collectibles on the top. You've got Marcus Phoenix from the Gears of War 3 Collector's Edition, Duke Nukem Bust from Duke Nukem Forever Collector's Edition. Yeah, I actually bought that. And in the background you can see Smeagol from the Collector's Edition at Lord of the Rings 2 Towers, I think. I've had it a while and I can't really remember too much. Uh, we can also see Squeaks from Transformers The Last Night. My daughter got it for me, um, so it stays there. And then up and over some artwork. Moving down to detail, uh, top shelf is assorted miniatures from my model boxes, some cats of Crumpton, and a decent amount of burrows and badges. I've just realised I do need to sort the lighting out on this side. Second shelf, 40k. It's a good mix of Gene Stealer, Colt, Abaddon, Fabius. Bile, Chaos Marines, Death Guard, most of this is from the Conquest magazine series. Third shelf, we've got Space Marines, good mix of Conquest Mag, Shadow Spear, and Profit of the Wolf set. On the fourth shelf, we've got Warcry, Warbands, and Gotrek. I'm going to admit that at the moment I prefer painting the fantasy miniatures more than the sci-fi. Fifth shelf, got the Oryx from Age of Sigmar Dominion all painted up. I have started the Stormcast, but you'll see those in a bit. And on the bottom shelf, we've got some unfinished terrain from the original Warcry two-player starter set box. And some Cypher Lords that I started painting in and lost interest in. I might go back to them in the future. I might not. Next to the detail, I have my Calyx system set up. Uh, this is mainly action figures, signed artwork from conventions, and more crafting supplies. On top of this unit, Transformers was Trypticon, some of the Wreckers, Springer, Sandstorm, Roadbuster, World, Jetfire, or Skyfire, personal preference on what you call them. Uh, we've got signed artwork by John Paul Bove, comic artist from IDW, worked on the Transformers Definitive G1 collection, recolouring the old black and white comics. Moving down, we've got Transformers animated figures, Autobots on the left, Decepticons on the right. I love these figures, but they're getting harder and harder to get hold of at decent prices. Well, when I say decent, I mean cheap. There's also some Combiner Wars Stunticons on the front there. Underneath them is a mixture of Combiner Wars, Movieverse, Powder Primes, Titan Wars, and some of the older Transformers Prime figures. The lower we go on this shelf, it the more likely is it's figures I don't mind the kids touching. On the floor level of the Calyxes are these tubs of unbuilt still on sprue minis. Here is the Age of Sigmar Night Haunts and Terrain Bits from the Mortal Realm subscription. Here are 40k Space Marines from Conquest and Imperium magazines and Stormcast from the Mortal Realms. In the middle is some filing drawers from IKEA, haven't quite worked out what to do with them but they could be useful. More tubs of unbuilt minis, Chaos Space Marines from the Shadow Spear box, and Necrons from Imperium. Tubs of basing materials, tough dirt and stone. On top of that, yet more storage that I haven't worked out a use for. Above all that is a signed print from Andrew Wildman, got that at the first Transformers convention I went to. 
On top of the last Calyx unit is yet more Transformers. We've got Titans Return, Fortress Maximus, Last Night Megatron, Classics Toy Line Ultra Magnus, Unicorn Trilogy Megatron. There's a small collection of Rock Lords. I'm tempted to try and restore some of these because the uh, the paint's looking uh, a bit rough. Mainly Batman animated series figures here. A lovely art style, though I can't remember who made the ones with the white stands. There's also my McFarlane Batman figure on the side with the black stand. We've got random figures next to them. Adam Jensen from Deus Ex Mankind Divided. He-Man and Skeletor from the Netflix show. Random 3D printed druid in bear form from Loot Studios. And a Deadpool figurine. Batman villains underneath. Love the Killer Croc one, just because it came with the baby doll accessory. We've got more Transformers, Combiner Wars Defensor and Sky Rain, and Rodimus Unicronus from Power of the Primes. Nothing says bad guy like a goatee. More storage crates as we go further down. This one is Unfinished Stormcast Eternals from Dominion, and some Orcs from the Prophecy of the Wolf. And there's some old kitchen sponges for future build ideas. In the trusty black tubs at the bottom are various paints that I either do not use or haven't found any space for, though it's mainly do not use. Last two spots on the calyx, spray paint, PVA glue, isopropyl alcohol, 3D printing resin, and other model making bits. And then we move on to the final bit of display before moving to the hobby area. On the top is my side print of Deadpool and Harley Quinn from Lee Bradley. Uh, various gaming statues, Assassin's Creed, Ghost Recon, back from when it was still good. Some keyring, some Sony, a Fallout bobblehead, Mario Light, a Marvel keyring, and two 3D printed orcs and a Colossus of Rhodes inspired bronze statue from Printed Obsession, which are probably my favourite pieces that I've printed and painted. There's also a random bust that I've never got round to starting. On the top shelf of the detail for more robots, a knockoff masterpiece Megatron, and an unrustable bastard being the highlight of this shelf. This is my shelf of the primes. I've got more masterpiece figures underneath here, including Ironhide, Bumblebee, and Spike with some third party figures. Moving on to the exciting bit now hobby area. This unit is mainly for boxes and equipment storage. There's a blender and some cork up there. This one, though. Up top, we have more artwork, glues, and camera battery chargers. It's pretty boring stuff. But the rest of this unit is where my sealed, unstarted projects, miniatures, and boxed-up games will live. On the shelf of the sealed and unstarted, we have the Angel Geraldes miniatures that were released earlier in the year, a fine collection of Warhammer commemorative minis, including the Warhammer Plus Year 1 miniatures. Year 2 will be joining them this week. And the final Dungeons & Doggies box. Well, until the Kickstarter starts arriving anyway. There's also some primed and half-finished models that I want to start over again. He's in a very, very late red gobbo from last Christmas. So I may get him done for this Christmas. We'll see. Oh, there's also a, an Auric Breaker boss on a troll. Never got around to starting him. We'll do it at some point. Underneath them is the box games and completed minis, so here's all the Animal Adventures bits I have so far. Here's the epic encounter boxes that I need to start, Lair the Goblin Sar and Web of the Spider Tyrant. We've also got the Battletech Beginners box and the Worms Bat from Warhammer Underworlds to start here. I also need to finish off the Marvel Crisis Protocol star set. That sort of got sidetracked in the house move. And lastly on the shelf is the D&D starter set and old, I don't know if it's still going, Star Wars RPG. Now onto the most important part. The work desk. In this corner I have my oil paints, pastel powders and very practical homemade airbrush booth and various other tools. My airbrush compressor is out of the way under the desk and this is where my PC used to live in the old setup. Oil paints are here. Oil paint thinners up here next to some Gundams fighting. Monument Hobbies paint rack up top here. Not sure how to organise paints, so I just went with a chart I found online. Stuff Teddy from my daughter guarding the area. I've got my Alexa speaker so I can hook up my phone or iPad to use with music or YouTube while I'm working out here, as my PC is not going to be set up in here for a while. I need to make the place a little bit more secure. I've got special effects, paints, glues, and streaking bits everywhere around here, which again will organise better for the future. I've got a couple of wall charts, so I'll be marking off what oil paints I have on here so I don't double up or can quickly see what colours I have. I've got my pastels for grinding down and dry brushing over terrain. I 
Small collection of painting handles. Red Grass Gamers one is my favourite, which is why I've got so many tops for it. This drawer has random maps from Mortal Realms and Conquest and Imperium. On the other side I have my old Army Painter wet palette, and on the desk is my new Studio XLV2 wet palette from Red Grass Games, which I'm looking forward to sitting down and using soon. Back of the desk is my iPad stand and cheap Vortex mixer, which, having tested it with the paint that's been unused for a while when we were moving, it does the job quite well. In the painting area, the camera mount is all set up, but I think I need to raise it a bit more. We'll see how it goes on the first painting video. On the wall behind, pegboards. All the pegboards. Ignore the coffee cup and label maker. Next desk is my 3D printing area. At the moment my LW Mars and Mercury Plus cleaning stations are set up, but I think I can fit another printer on here. There is also all the tools I could need at the moment on the wall behind. And now we're back to the uh, to the door. So that is... Ignore the rubbish. So that is the new uh, painting recording area. Um, yeah, really looking forward to seeing how this goes. And uh, this rather bright light in the middle uh, got on Amazon. I'll pop a link to though. It's quite cool. I like it. Ow. Editing Gary, hopping back in. Um, if you've got to the end of the video, thank you for watching. I'll admit it's a little rougher than I would have liked, and the audio is very robotic and stiff. That's purely because, if you can see in the background, all of the slicing and cutting and adjusting I had to try and do to match up the video to the audio that I recorded in here, because my microphone just picked up literally everything in the street, which was not fun. So the garage is all ready, my painting area is set up, hopefully, or well, touch wood, somewhere. Um, I will begin painting stuff again very soon, as I might have said in the video. I don't know if I did or not now, thinking about it. Uh, I've got the Leagues of Vatan army box turning up on Saturday. Touch wood. Uh, I've got the Warhammer 2 two-year anniversary figures turning up either tomorrow or Saturday as well. So there'll be plenty to work on. As also in the video, you've seen the amount of stuff that I've not opened yet or got built. So something in there is coming. Uh, if you did see anything in the video that you want to have a closer look at, let me know down below in the comments, and uh, I will try and do something with that. But uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. I think I'm going to work on a new intro. That might be the next thing, but sidetracking. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm Gary, aka Hopeless. If you like what you saw, leave a like. If you want to see some more or see what happens in the future, subscribe. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. So until then, see ya.